Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we watched a movie. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> guess which one? You'll never uh, guess. Which one? Judy and Punch. I mean, they're cheating because it was in the title. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well I didn't get it. So and you win. you should have. I should have. <laughs> you keep me guessing though as to which one we're talking about. <laughs> okay, true. That is always a trick question. So, Judy and Punch. Judy and Punch. Not Punch and Judy. That's right. Not Punch and Judy. Um, so, I, you know, I knew what a Punch and Judy skit was, basically. You knew more than me. Okay. I have heard of them, but I knew they were marionettes. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that what you call those marionettes? Yeah. Okay. But, in fact, they're, they're puppets. They're okay. hand puppets. Anyway, that's, all, that's about the extent of my knowledge. Yes. Well, I kind of knew it was a, a punchy kind of skit that they do. But this movie takes us all the way back to its roots. Um, yeah, where Judy is, and Punch are actual puppeteers. They are, yes. So we'll just, uh, in case people don't know what a Punch and Judy show is, it is a puppet show. It has been around for centuries. Um, but some of the elements always stay the same. Every puppeteer can put on a different kind of show. Uh, different things can happen to the characters week from week, kind of like a soap opera. But there's always uh, Mr. Punch and his wife, Judy. And he's kind of a tippler and she's a nagger. And uh, they usually have many domestic disturbances. They start out dancing, it starts out kind of nice, but it usually turns ugly fairly quickly. And Punch has a slapstick. Uh, so I don't know if this is exactly where it came from, but the slapstick is an actual stick he uses to slap people with. Uh, so the Punch and Judy show is kind of violent, because even the puppet, and of course back in the day, we were, like this movie is set I think in like 16th century, England, back in the day, it was for adults. It was put on for adults. This was a kind of body entertainment. Then they sh eventually shifted more towards children, but even for kids, it was always a dark kind of show. Yeah, it's and not it really relies on kids. shock humor. It's probably <laughs> not really appropriate for anyone. Yeah. We should never be laughing at domestic abuse. Fair point. And yet... <laughs> and yet it's in our history. And yet it is, yes. So uh, there are, for centuries now, some elements that never seem to change, including obviously the title two characters, but then there's like a hangman who often appears and the policeman who often appears, a string of sausages for some reason. There are these elements that just keep coming back. And so in this movie, uh, written and directed by Myra Folks, who is an actress. This, I think, is her the first time she's directed a, a feature-length film, but she is an actress. You may recognize her from uh, The Gift, Animal Kingdom, she was on The Crown. Um, but as good as an actress she may be, she is really kind of a fantastic director. I was super impressed with this movie, but it's it is a good. weird movie. Very weird. But it really establishes its own little universe and it draws you in. So like I said, we're going way back to... Yeah, uh, medieval times. Yeah, not very nice times. No. So as Sean said, Punch and Judy are real people. Um, Damon Harriman and Mia Wasikowska. And they are a married couple. They are puppeteers. They put on the, uh, a Punch show. So they have marionettes. So back then, it was, when actually the artistry originated in Italy, and it was marionettes originally, but people got lazy and it just went to hand puppets. <laughs> but they are marionetters. That could be a word. It is now. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see if it catches on. It probably comes up a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, they're putting on this show and they go home and they have a baby. But just like his character in the show, this Mr. Punch is a drinker. So one day his wife leaves him home for just an hour while she goes out to market. And 
he throws the baby out a window. Second story. Yep. Baby's not coming back from that. No. So here's the thing, like it's, this whole thing is played as a complete farce because there is a dog who keeps stealing a string of sausages and Punch is drunk, he is angry <laughs> for no particular reason, but he doesn't want a dog to Well, the dog's him. stealing his food. Yeah. That's, that's part of what's making him mad and that's understandable. <laughs> Okay. Where he goes when he I don't, I'm it. really uncomfortable with him <laughs> taking his side on this. But anyways, he chases a dog, he trips in the attic, the baby goes out the window. And here's the thing, when this happens, I laugh. <laughs> because you hate kids. <laughs> Thank you, Sean, for putting that out into the I'm universe. I'm just kidding. You better be. Jay is wonderful with kids and they love her. I have never her. dropped a single one out a window. You're excellent with babies. I know. I never dropped them. Very trustworthy. I have a firm grip. I was dropped as a baby. You may Maybe not be surprised yeah. to know, but so you're extra I mean, draw I wasn't so much dropped as I was failed to be caught. <laughs> Cause somebody was on a balcony, on a veranda throwing me up in the air and uh, I guess I went a little too far out and I took a tumble. Ooh. Yes. Trust issues, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when Judy comes home, there's no baby in the house. That's weird. Uh, he's already dis disposed of the body in the fireplace. Seemed like a good idea, I guess. And here's the weird thing. Uh, Julie's a little bit unhappy about this turn of events. It, yeah. So, it's strange that she would be upset yes. about the death of her baby at the hands of her husband. Mm -hmm. So um, to console her, he beats her to death with his slapstick. And then he's got to dispose of that body too, but she doesn't fit in the fireplace. Ugh. So he just drags her out into the woods and... Leaves her. Yeah. And you know, eventually he has to explain to the cops that, uh, oh, so probably it's the servants. Um, my wife is missing, my baby is missing. I'm pretty sure they ate him. <laughs> I don't know. He's just uh, pretty nonchalant about the whole thing. But this obviously is starting to snowball. He's got to get rid of people on a pretty frequent basis at this point. Yes, he does. Yeah. So off go the servants in custody yes. to be hanged. Yes. And I we failed to mention that this is a very... This village that they're from uh, has like enormous bloodlust. <laughs> and they seem to uh, accuse many people of witchcraft. And then they uh, have a public stoning, stoning day. Stoning, hanging, yes. run them out of town. Yes. Although I felt, I, and all these times hearing about stoning, I never imagined, in fact, it is rocking. Yeah, they are throwing they're big. like... They're really big. Yeah. They brought, I mean, it's a quicker end, I guess. Yeah, it's really hard. I've just been Those imagining be it throw. wrong this whole time. I thought it was little stones also. Yeah, like that misnamed. you could actually throw like a baseball, not heave like a <laughs> 50 pound weight. Yes. But everyone gets in on it and uh, it seems like they're dispatching quite a few witches. So it is that kind of town. So the servants, I mean, there's no talk of a trial or evidence or anything. Oh, no, no. They're, no. They're, it's just they set a date to be for the hanging. For the hanging. And it's quite far off. So I guess there's other hangings between now and then. That's right. Well, they've just had a stoning. So, okay. you know, you've, <laughs> you've got to space gotta, them out. Mm, yeah. you know, for the These are community events. Yes. Everyone's showing up. That's right. I mean, at the very least, they have to go rock picking again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so it is unbeknownst to Punch, Judy has narrowly survived the attack and is only alive because some kids find her half buried in the forest and 
bring her back to, I don't know, their kind of hideout, yeah. a little hideout in the forest where a lot of the town's outcasts. All the witches have gone. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, and the guess slow what? Ones, they're not witches. They're not witches. They're just intelligent women. That's right. And now they're mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they're just out in this like secret place in the forest and they are plotting revenge. So, I have to say, I didn't really know what to expect going into this movie, but I knew I wanted to see it. And I'm so glad I did. Fair warning though, this is a black, black, super black comedy. Yes, it you is. Can't yeah. Get much blacker than this. Really not. No. no. I mean, the, a lot of the humor is in the stoning and mm -hmm. hangings and yeah. witchcraft. Yeah. And so. babies flying out the window, of course. <laughs> One of just well, an all time classic gag. <laughs> that's what turned, like, that's really what arrested me though. That that little moment that got a laugh out of me and then the director just lets us sit with that awful realization that there's there isn't some trick like there wasn't no. a trampoline down there or a no. pillow or just <laughs> no that baby just died yeah. so i just but I, that whole scene choreographed up until that moment is so it's perfectly really played yeah. Every little thing where you feel the clowning, it's, you know, a dog with a string of sausages and this drunken buffoon and the dog's getting the better of him and he's just getting angry. And then he trips and the baby just, and then you see outside <laughs> the baby's sailing. Yeah. See, you're laughing now. Look at this. He's laughing, guys. It's not just me. It's not just Jerry. But I think that is such a brilliant nod to the director to be able to pull that off. Very courageous. Yes. Ooh, because that there is such a narrow, narrow little space there where you can both laugh and then be horrified, right, rubbing up against each other. Yes. And you, so, you better be. I mean, it fits really well with the tone of the movie. <laughs> yes. But the movie's not going to be for everyone for that reason because it's not like usual laugh out loud. No, humor. it's not a comedy. <laughs> it's it not. is a dark comedy. So when I was writing up the review for this movie, I remembered one other time uh, having to find a word that was blacker than black to describe how black the comedy is. So I looked up online and I found that there is a color called a Vanta black. Oh yeah, that's right. Vanta black is is blacker than black. It is so black. It absorbs all but like 0.03% of light. Uh, I think the human eye can't see this Can't black. understand it. Yes, yeah. can't understand it. It is just so black. I remember you mentioning that, yeah. Yes. And it so, is like this, like, next one step from a black hole that's been, like, <laughs> grown in a lab, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's weird stuff. Yeah, so I uh, broke the label out again for this movie, slapped it on proudly. It deserves, it, deserves it. it. It earns it. But, yeah, I mean, it's... I think admirable that I you agree. can pull this off. Yeah, I think this is a swing for the fences kind of movie. Yes. And I think it works. And what an audacious debut Absolutely. too. Like you have to be very confident as a director and she also wrote it. Yeah. So like this is all coming from her. So to be that confident in your own authorial voice uh, blew me away. Good for you. Absolutely. Yeah, so, whew, it's nasty. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it just, it kind of keeps you guessing right up until the end. It does. Yeah. And I enjoyed the ending, and I also really liked all the crying kids at the puppet show in the, in the credits. <laughs> in the credits, <laughs> yes. So, if you happen to know more about Punch and Judy than than the average person, then you will appreciate how the director has really, or the writer, I really should say, has weaved in a lot of nods to the actual show. You will recognize a lot of those tropes that have been Well, you just mentioned used. them. I mean, there are yeah. the sausages, there is the hangman, the, mm -hmm. the cop is a pretty big part of this movie. Mm -hmm. And the dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the baby. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Mr. Punch, uh, he really in the in the puppet show, he just everyone he meets, he pretty much bludgeons to death. 
not always bludgeoning, but once you get the slapstick out, I suppose it's... Got to use it. You, you know. And he will lay out all of the, corp- the puppet corpses to remind people... <laughs> of what he's of done. Of what he's done. And then uh, the devil will even confront him. And he kills the devil too. Wow. So there is no good moral to this puppet show. And yes, as Sean said at the very end of the film during the credits, they're showing footage of like kids at these puppet shows. And again, a lot of the humor is, is shock humor, like a dead baby, where you laugh almost unwillingly. You're mad that they elicited a laugh because actually it's terrible. And so you're, you have these conflicting emotions. And I think for kids especially, everything's black and white to them. So it's very hard to have have this very gray area of having these both two things happening inside you at once. So just to see their faces gleeful, sad, shocked, angry, like all processing it at once is kind of fun. Yes. But cruel. I don't think probably we should be doing that to children. No, but I mean, it's a good encapsulation of how you might feel while watching this movie. <laughs> yes, it is not for kids, no. <laughs> adults only. No, yeah. But it's kind of an exciting, an exciting watch. It's a good movie, and it's, it's a unique movie, and I am impressed that this is the director's first go at this, mm-hmm. and that she wrote it as well. Uh, that is really impressive, yes. so well done. Well done. So check it out if you dare. It is newly available on VOD. Bye, guys. Bye.